Let's say you want to create a data set for multiple tables where some of the data in the columns to be joined don't match. Begin creating the data set. Select the Multiple Tables connection. Expand SH Schema and use the control key to select Times, Sales, Products, Customers, and Channels, and drag them to the Join diagram. The Channels table isn't joined automatically to the other tables, so why is that? Explore the Channels table columns. It appears that the channel ID column contains a hyphen followed by a number, but the sales table channel number column only contains numbers. So the column names and data don't match and therefore aren't automatically joined by the system. Let's fix that. Open the channels table in the join diagram. Split the channel ID column into two columns. Continue by formatting the split columns. Select dash as the delimiter. Increase the parts to two. Rename the second column as channel underscore number and add the step to commit the change. Let's try to join the tables again. In the join diagram, drag channels to sales. Focus on the sales columns. The sales channel number column is grayed out because it's a measure. Change it to an attribute and select it for the join. Next, explore the channels columns. Notice that they're all grayed out. That's because the sales and channels tables data types aren't compatible. Let's work on that. Explore the channels table again. Convert the channel number column to the numeric data type. Finish the process by joining the sales table channel number column to the channels table channel number column. Success! The table column data is transformed and the joins created between data set tables to create the data set. In this video, you created a data set from multiple tables, where some of the data in columns to be joined don't match by transforming the data in the columns and then creating a join. Check us out at docs.oracle.com.